A little bit of music while we're waiting. So while we are waiting, um, everybody has to come. So we have four minutes to start. I'm just playing some music in the background. Might well enjoy myself some more while we wait four minutes. <clears throat> So we'll be starting in four minutes. At sharp two o'clock, we'll start. Welcome to today's episode of my show <laughs> hello uncle Stephas. we'll be starting in three minutes can everybody hear me if you hear me or if you don't if you don't anchor to the show for today if you don't anchor to the show for today please signal give me a hello a high five anything anything to make me to know that you are here and you're ready to participate so if you don't anchor if you don't clock in if you don't plug in stay plugged in and signal me to know that you're here. We'll be starting in two minutes. So while you're here, you can share the video. Share the video, share the video. We're starting in one minute. Hello, hello. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining. Today we're going to be, I mean, it's going to be less than an hour because this topic is really brief and short. So, where's my volume? Can everybody hear me? Okay. Okay, so we are about to start. Our topic for today is mononucleosis, aka kissing disease. Aka kissing disease. That's what we're going to be talking about today. 
So, okay, confirm. Everybody, welcome. For those who are watching, who have actually clicked and uh, are watching this, you're welcome. For those who are just watching uh, in the background way, uh -huh, you're welcome, you know. Um, and for those who are going to be watching after I'm done, you're welcome to today's episode of my show. So, today we're talking about mononucleosis, also known as kissing disease. So, this disease, as the name implies, kissing. It means it stays in your saliva. So, the way, the number one way to get this disease, I think is the only way actually, exactly mononucleosis is through kissing. So if you kiss somebody who has this disease, you're probably gonna contract the disease from this person. So mononucleosis is caused by a virus called Epstein-Barr virus. I should say that name, not some person in name, with the Jotica. Mm -hmm. So mononucleosis, the virus where it caused mono, it be caused by a virus, and a virus in name that Epstein. Sorry if I don't have the right pronunciation. Epstein Barr virus, and this virus is stay now for inside person the mom no for saliva, for saliva yes. Now for the virus is stay. So if you kiss person, where you get the virus? You too will likely get the virus now. Yes. And before I proceed, two I want to talk about this, for this, um, this about this mononucleosis. Of course, now true kissing, you get the virus. Especially people with the life of kiss. You kiss person, you kiss dog, you kiss the baby, anything you kiss her. If you be that kind of person, kiss, 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 stop her. Yeah, you know, be on a Judas way, they be saying, go kiss Jesus for sure. Say Jesus not the one way they find him. No, stop kissing, <laughs> stop kissing people, except the people them where they kiss them, maybe not your spouse, mm -hmm. or yeah, somebody we on a day together as partner. But not kiss the one today, go kiss the other one tomorrow. As I talk for yeah, as I don't talk the other day, then. People already they kiss the one, kiss that one, kiss that one. And sleep with the one, sleep with that one, sleep with that one. Now so, now so they walk and carry all the diseases. And now so, now so they spread the kind of sickness. In. Especially the kind of kissing disease. Yes, they draw the kiss anyhow. Especially the one where they talk now so for yeah. That intimate kissing. And I think I say, I mean, people in there, they, they kiss, you feel kiss person. But, you know, when I not exchange saliva, but you never know which one the saliva will exchange at which point. So if you are not supposed, don't kiss people you are not supposed to be kissing. Yes, do not kiss anybody you are not supposed to be kissing. Just imagine. Even when they don't marry, they just the worker. No, don't do that. Because you are exposing yourself to this disease. Or if now you get them, you expose the other person where you kiss them to this disease. And if you happen to forget the disease, Make sure say you tell your partner or the people the way you be used to where you like or kiss them because you know one cousin. Especially being safe for your picking them. You know one cousin for them. Because this disease be very dangerous. It be very dangerous. It is stay for your um for your mouth. And then it go down, it work at go different places. Um, it go for person in brain too, you know, go for liver, spleen. So you know one. And if it happens so, you can't get out of small picking, it causes pneumonia, it causes cancer, then we'll talk about that one. So, now the point that for this disease for today, mononucleosis, aka kissing disease, the mode of transmission, natural saliva, and kissing. And the, the organism will be responsible for this disease, now some virus, now virus, they call it Epstein by virus. As I talk, most viruses don't get treatment. Some viruses, they, they go away by themselves. The one or one of them, where you don't really get treatment for this thing. You know, you see, and as you not get treatment, you know, na supportive care. What it means say your job they do na some small small thing never manage the person is signs and symptoms them. If the person get headache, you manage the headache. If the person complain pain, you manage and I saw the thing will be and I saw you manage them. I saw your three D help for for calm down the disease for this virus for the person in system until the virus wakago the way we get for go. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Sometimes they build people, they get it in, they don't know so they get that. Signs and symptoms. They don't know so they get the one at all. It's all day for their system. Now they can't people them. They call them so they carry them. Now silent carrier on how they call them. They get that for their system. They don't know. It's day for their mom. It's just day day. If it be for your mom for, for a long time, it's 15 months. It's just day day. The people in now, they don't know so they get that. But it's day day. Because they don't get no symptom. They don't get no sign. They need to feel nothing. They say they get that kind of sick. Until maybe something will happen. Where they seek that cause some complication, then uh, they don't realize and say, oh, that means I don't get the virus, now it causes the sick, now so they think they. And then the kind of people, they, they go pass out for some other person, they don't know. Say they get them. They go kiss another person, they pass out for the person. So we have to be cautious. We get for be, we get for be careful with the kind of thing they will do, with the life where they live them, the people where they interact with them, kiss them, do this, do that. We get for be careful because. Valentine's Day is coming. Exactly. Thank you, doctor's wife. Valentine's Day is coming. And you never know who you're going to be kissing, especially uh -huh. especially if Percy Wade don't drunk no. Yes. You don't know to where if he come in contact with. So, as I talk, alcohol na number one. Be kind times of alcohol. The, the alcohol consumption already increased for some kind, during some kind period then. Festive period, like Valentine's Day, Christmas, and that's why it increased. So after that, um, the kind of thing too, they the enter market. I mean, they the increase. So plenty people they get the kind of thing. So go for be careful. So sometimes you be you not get sim. This sick, you figure I don't know you, so you get you not get symptom. But it'll be easy for you for transmitter for another person. Maybe another person now go get symptom for the sick, and then sometimes the person not even remember saying that you give. Just because say, you know we get the same symptom the way you get that, you know no say it get that tuna from you. It no no say get that from you. But even a person way wise, we no say it's sign say now the one person I'm kiss on Valentine's Day. Yeah, after two weeks now don't get the symptom. It go no say na you gay. Or it go mm -hmm. after Valentine's Day or maybe a few months later. Even a person where he know the way they do, he know the people the way they interact with them. It go no say if you kiss na John for so so and so day. For the kind time and here now for the way John G get sick. Yes. Something the way that you feel person you know, pass away if you get sick. As I talk, you know no. So other one in the way they will know. They know no say they get time, but those the feet of kind, you know that kind thing no. You do wear, you know the you yeah, you you in between sick and wear. That's not a good stage. A state to be in. It's either you are well or you are sick. Now, so you know, therefore, be in between. So, now, so the thing to do is to come, it is there for your skin, so it is just confuse your system. Your system don't know whether it well or it is sick. Yes, it, you know that in between imbalance and eh, malice. Now, so they call it no. You just know say something will be right, but then you need to feel some other thing that will support your knowing, say something will be right. This is to be caused with that kind. If you put you for that system, if you put you for that state of knowing and unknowing, state of health and unhealthy in between, that gray between the black and the white. Mm -hmm. If you put you for the and then if you get symptoms, then so one day they get symptoms where they get it in. How did they know that they get fever? They be fatigued. That means say uh, they be tired. Even for move their finger away, no day. Fatigue, fever. So when they call her pharyngitis, so throat go start. If you open your mouth for here, person look at, it will look at, it will look at again. It go red like that way. Show they say life that red. So it go day some kind. And then, so when they now. Leave and they no party where it touch their hey, they it touch of it. Oh, it is hot. They say they fear for touch and they walk and as soon. You don't see a person walk as soon. No. I'm not to say if person they walk as soon, it means he must get a little thing. I just they talk. So the thing they so now one of the thing they wear if he cause this saw through them fever and then person wear the one it is swallowed in middle. You that play in your throat the hot when I wait today. Epstein bar EBV. Now you short name that just as you get HIV. And you do one EBV. Epstein bar virus. It be so for you where you have mop. 
your throat with the hot fever. And then, tire. When you say, hey, je suis fatigué. Oh, fatigue. That's what the person, like you become so fatigued. You're so tired. You don't even know what what's going on. Yes. I was talking about the symptoms of Epstein-Barr virus or mononucleosis. Symptoms of mononucleosis. Sometimes you can be asymptomatic. You don't have any symptoms. At this point, you can transmit it from person to person without even knowing. Of course, like many other viruses, this virus usually can go away on its own. So you really don't have a specific treatment except it involves some complications. You can have like supportive treatments for fever, headache, pain, and all that. And then sometimes you can have you can have a, you know as um, a couple of symptoms, which is um, fever, pharyngitis, lymphadenopathy, um, fatigue. So fever, of course, your temperature is you know becomes high. That's like a sign that there's an infection. Pharyngitis, like sore throat, inflammation of your pharynx, you know, lymphadenopathy, you're having pains around your lymph nodes right here. Yeah, you have those pains right there. And then, of course, if you don't treat this at this point, it can cause other complications, which you're going to talk about. So, and then another um, classic finding in this, people with mononucleosis, they can also have rash rashes and this rash is normally non-purated means it doesn't itch so another symptom for the team figure person figure rash where the rash node is crashed but your day they mm -hmm, it they present okay so now the signs and symptoms in that for mononucleosis mononucleosis aka kissing disease that's what we're talking about today okay and then another way that people can actually find out that they're carrying this virus this Epstein-Barr virus is maybe they start having complications like um, enlarged spleen, enlarged liver, hepatosplenomegaly, and the big name that enlarged spleen or myalgia, which is like muscle pains, um, joints, of course. Usually, anything that involves your liver, when you know when liver is being attacked, of course, you start. If your liver has been severely attacked without any intervention, you start having joints. Joints is yellowing of the skin. You can have joints in your eyes, especially like in black people, you can see it on their lips. I mean, people of my color, you can see it on their lips. But with people who are a little bit fair or Caucasians, joints usually is really like if you see it, you're like chai. That person looks like banana. That's joints. But I'm not saying maybe it's just some kind of skin complication. It's okay, we just started. Okay, so I'm saying other other people where they get this virus, some way they, they get the mononucleosis, they don't know about them, they don't know so they get that virus, that Epstein Barr virus. They figure complication. They figure they fi actually realize and say they know they realize and say they get the virus. Now true when the virus don't cause some other thing for their system, then after they don't figure, they'll finally go for the doctor. Doctor tell them, say, they'll say you get the virus, so after doctor don't do tests. So another symptoms, the way person, if you get away, get the virus, now say, wait, they get until they call a hepatosplenomegaly or splenomegaly or hepatomegaly, which is your spleen and your liver, and the organ, the way they inside your, um, they, they corner your belly. I mean, say, so if you tell person in belly, no, you tell him my belly, so, Spleen day for year, liver day for year. Uh -huh. So the virus, they easily go attack your liver and your spleen. Now, vital organ in that, for inside your body, they do a lot of things. Kissing, very bad. They do a lot of things for your, for help your system, your immunity, for excretion, you know, and all that. So if this virus, where it be strong, it go attack your liver and your spleen. It get for being a soul. Wait to go happen. Your spleen go big. Your liver go big. Some people need their liver. Your belly is all big. They say no signs of good living. <laughs> no. Especially when they get alcohol. They drink alcohol. And then you go carry it in other day. Your liver go big so they go big so they go big so if you be the one picking. Then they say no signs of good living. They walk and push the belly for front. No. No be all timid signs of good living. No be all big belly be fat. So one day so na. Hepato, you know, megali. That means say mega. Where you say mega, 
mega me say wetin e big e say mega mega e big na mega mega big 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 spleen big 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 liver now so some people don't take and now when they are they are liver and they are spleen don't big they are belly don't big some kind we don't look and they say ah me they go for doctor doctor go do test and doctor go rest and say they get na the virus now another way that for take for no so you get the virus but that one i go lead na complication and then so other one in the way they just know so they are spleen go just rupture when i say rupture it's scatterberry you don't know that for dinner it's study hot you go for doctor doctor don't say ah ah then let's say a spleen door rupture you don't have to talk about pg man not to say explode you don't pop what to say you don't i don't know as if you use that word but hey it rupture then now for dinner you realize and doctor got to say your spleen rupture maybe more do the test when they do the test and the rest and say you get more nucleosis when I say you know be no you say you get them. Um, so the thing don't be 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 nah, it don't cause complication, it don't cause any rupture. Mm -hmm. And other people you need to get neurologic symptoms. When I say neurologic, what do you mean? Your brain don't involve. Your brain and your spinal cord don't involve for the it don't be affected by the virus. So it will cause neurologic symptoms like encephalitis. Encephalitis is a big word for now big word for brain involvement you don't inflammation mm -hmm, the infection don't go for your brain that's so and then you'll see someone and now those are be psychotic psychosis where they call out for camera say madness where person they tell you say no you are on a day inside room but they tell you say inside the room on a day so no 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 day now like seven different people them seven ekete seven lion you say the wash and say and how many people in there for inside here you know no say you know say now only you are eating no we don't cycle psychosis you don't escape from the planet go another planet in the form of colo madness uh -huh. now so so yes if you are if you get the virus mononucleosis only from kissing no that's all start you don't go kiss person when you get them you don't know say the person get them aha uh -huh. you two you carry them it can't be for your system. Silence, silence. You want to see now. You will not start act funny. You see your system, but you don't know. So it can't cost you all the thing. Now just from kissing. I usually not know even your husband or your wife will kiss her. No, be your husband or your wife. Now just some pets where you don't go. Maybe you don't go shoot for some bar. You just drink two bottles of alcohol. It climb for your head. It put you in a psychotic state. Then you go kiss now some pets where you don't know it. Uh huh. When the person get the mononucleosis. Then that the mononucleus is now enter your system, put you again in another psychotic state. So it will cause neurologic symptoms. Now so I mean that's so we'll start. Now brief summary that we will start. Uh -huh. And then another one, neurologic symptoms, muscle weakness. You've even developed something they call and say Gillian Barre syndrome. Gillian Barre. Where it affects all your muscles they know. You get something they call as a myasia, muscle weakness, muscle, and eh? even for yawn, simple activities as yawning, your it don't say your system they collapse because you get when you yawn, you de breathe, you de use muscles, you de use your muscles. So if you be affected by this virus, it will weaken all your muscles. Then that means say you know if you even use your muscles for them, even for chew, even for laugh. So person it makes some joke now, you just be so. You know, if you laugh, therefore in a, a state of constant smiling, like so. You know, if you laugh, you want to laugh so your your skin is just hot. And then so one day they cause them. It affect your cranial nerves. Your cranial nerves, no. Now nerves the way that your brain, where they control almost all. The, I mean, no matter almost all. The, all the way your system, cranial nerve the controller. Yes, you get facial nerve where they help you. For smile. So when the Gillian, the um, uh, Epstein Bar, Epstein Bar virus affect your facial nerve, you need to smile. Also, people in the day in a constant smiling mode, they are facial this so. You need to say maybe that's an event. So when a Gillian na na Epstein Bar virus, Epstein Bar virus, it don't cause them facial paralysis. It don't affect their neurological system. Even for peace, for you know. To peace, to do that, and uh, number two, you know the feet, your muscles, they just be weak in, in a state of constant weakness. When I wait to cause a simple kiss, some guy just tell you, some man just smile for you, so 
ah, you go kiss you one time, kiss her. I know why I don't say kiss, don't that small, I mean that kind kiss. Yes, that kind kiss where they kiss her. Mm -hmm. Deep kissing, exchange saliva. Because as I talked for the beginning, this um, Epstein Bar virus, where it cause mononucleosis, it is passed not through saliva. So you get for exchange. One saliva get for join. One person is saliva get for meet another person in mop. Then it will go now the virus now go enter now go for the person in system. So that cause wahala. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then it will also cause upper airway troubles. People they want to breathe. You know if you breathe because your muscles they don't be attacked. Your neurology, everything, the cranial nerve, the way they be involved for your breathing. They be um you know thing the control your system they be affected so you know the feet you know the feet break you know the feet do anything you know the feet um you know you don't want to talk you don't want to smile all things they just be affected yes now so the now so this virus simple kiss that's so it go cause her mm -hmm. so as I talk for this thing for the beginning treatment no really you don't really get treatment. So the best, the only, the usually doctor, the doctor say, well, drink plenty of water, not be dehydrated. Because of course, when person you throw the heart, you need to feed, you need lost appetite. So when you need signal, you need lost appetite, you need to feed chop, you need to feed drink, you just do like a, like a, um, local, local. Yes. So, you know, the feed, so doctor go to say, wait, drink plenty of water, try for drink water, try for drink, you know, electrolyte based fluid so that means you know dehydrate me you know lost your electrolytes you know you'll say okay if you get headache if your skin you hot take them um, uh, Tylenol, Panadol, Paracetamol um, uh, fever yes take paras Panadol, Paracetamol when I say fever your temperature don't high no yes you, so you take all that other thing in that makes in the full control your temperature bring them down so I was talking about the computer um, Signs and symptoms, the other signs and symptoms of Epstein Barr virus um, mononucleosis. So I was saying it can cause neurological symptoms, brain, you know, involvement, encephalitis, facial nerve paralysis. It can also lead to Guillain Barre syndrome. And Guillain Barre syndrome will cause muscle weaknesses, myalgias, and you know, all those symptoms that involve your that involve your muscles. And then I was saying there is really no specific treatment. It's good to do um, supportive care. So keep yourself hydrated because usually when people are sick, they don't drink enough water, they don't eat enough, they lost, they have, um, experience loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, and stuff like that. So you have to keep yourself hydrated in order not to go into a hypovolemic state. Uh -huh. Hypovolemic. It means you lost water today, lost blood, lost all things, blood pressure, go down. So, so, it's good to keep yourself hydrated, take antipyretics and um, medications like Tylenol, Ibuprofen, and then if it's involved, if this involves any kid, do not give them aspirin because aspirin can also cause them to have the rare syndrome. Mm -hmm. Rare syndrome. So, Please do not give any child aspirin. Okay? People for Cameroon, I talk say, Mona no give Pekin aspirin when Pekin is sick or when Pekin nowhere. Because that will be the small, they give you aspirin. Right? They give you aspirin. Would it take up? But nobody really know the consequences. So until they they call and say, right? R E Y E, right? Syndrome. Now just on T way aspirin for some reason when you give picking aspirin when I say picking at least like below 12 13 and so mm -hmm. when you get an aspirin it cause this Rye syndrome where Rye syndrome it means it it cause picking the confused swelling liver damage you know and it's not good sometimes they would be picking and they will be they will probably don't die so because of this aspirin issue but no man will be not figuring out. Now, after researchers they don't realize and say, when you give risky um when you give begin aspirin, where you know our reach on certain age, if it cause this because of the beginning system, I know I'm going to all of that now because we didn't have mononucleosis, aka kissing disease. Uh -huh. So be careful. No aspirin. Give them Tylenol. Um, give them 
maybe keep children's ibuprofen, Panadol, Paracetamol to help reduce the fever and um, pain and all that. Do not give anything besides what the doctor tells you to, to give. Okay? So, another thing where you get the kind of symptoms. I'm not saying for people them. Okay? Um, I might talk for English first, then I go for PG. So, usually some people will go to the, they'll think maybe it's probably like a, um, a strep throat that they are having. The signs and symptoms of strep throat or some other viruses are similar to these. But if you're having this concern, you feel like you're having a strep throat, do not just grab some kind of antibiotic and take, you know, and take at home. You have to go to the doctor so they can do a strep test, uh, you know, mono test and rule out strep, strep throat. And then they can also do the mono test to confirm that it's a mo um, um, Epstein-Barr virus and mononucleosis, and then they'll treat it appropriately. Remember, Epstein-Barr virus is a virus. We don't use antibiotic to treat Epstein-Barr. If you have strep throat um, bacteria caused by strep a bacteria, you use antibiotic. Now, if it's not strep throat, and then if it's mononucleosis, and then you take antibiotics, what will happen? It will cause you to have a rash, an itchy rash. Antibiotics like penicillin, amoxicillin, you know, azithromycin and all that. It will cause you to have an itchy rash. And then people will start saying, oh, you have, you're allergic to penicillin. No, you're not allergic to penicillin. It's just because you took the wrong medication for the wrong illness. You took an antibiotic to treat an Epstein-Barr virus and that caused you to have that itchy rash, okay? PG, a toxin or people they when they get sore throat, because as I told you, one of the signs of symptoms for this mononucleosis and Epstein-Barr virus. Now, nah. okay, I'll get to that. Thank you. One of the um, symptoms for mononucleosis will be caused by Epstein-Barr virus. Now, sore throat and trouble swallowing. You know when you're throat, you know if you swallow. So, some people in there, they'll just say, oh, I get, strep to, I get sore throat. Bam, they don't go take. Um, uh, amoxicillin drink up no no be all the way antibiotics the, the cure you know if you get bacteria bacteria infection you you take antiviral medicine and you know if you get antiviral me, uh, infection you take bacteria um, antibiotics antibiotics they treat not only bacteria at least antibiotics they treat bacteria and antivirus, they treat virus. Now, so they name the day and I saw their function too much. So, if you get the virus, you get for go for doctor, me doctor. Me, if you feel the pain, then these signs and symptoms, they were, I don't talk so. Where the one be, let's say you gain a regular cell throat, the normal cell throat, when a bacteria, they used to cause some kind of bacteria, they cause that one. If you feel that, so you know, find me, you go for pharmacy, go buy any medicine, drink, I get for go for doctor. Because the, Medicine, matter say you go take some antibiotics drink. If it costs you, you get some rash for your skin. If it costs you, you get rash for your skin. So you get for go for doctor, me doctor, treat her. Me doctor give you the right thing for do in order to get rid of the virus. As I talked before, the virus, so you don't really get treatment. There's most treatment. I say you just take a supportive treatment that you just go the gym water, make sure say you chop. I don't say you throw the hot. You take some mix in a way, you go cool your throat down so that if you swallow small, mm -hmm. you drink water, you chop fruits and vegetables. You stay away from kissing people. I thought so it's stay away from kissing people if you get it sick. No, the mm -mm. if I when, when I throw the hot anything, just just suspect if you've been at this in there, you just stay you for one corner, no kiss any man, no go to kiss person. So, oh yeah, I told you what. Okay, all right. Of course, they get for diagnosis, they go do some tests there for no senadi, mononucleosis, Epstein Barr virus. I also don't know. Now, I thought this sick day, so if it cause plenty of complication, then complication, the number one complication for this in a as I talk, antibiotic induced rash. If you take antibiotics, it will cause you for get some rash where you'll refuse say. Now the antibiotics give you the rash, but we actually know that the antibiotics are just the virus we did for your system. Don't pretend give you rash if it's not the mixing. And then number two, chronic fatigue syndrome. That means say 
As it did not enter your system, I'll be talking before, say one of the signs and symptoms that chronic fatigue, I mean fatigue, where you don't pass six months, it can be chronic. So, signs and symptoms for this is chronic, one of the complications is chronic fatigue. Chronic fatigue means even after the virus is gone, you know, you are tired. You don't, you tire. They want to call your name, so now nah, because wash pan, you don't really tire. As you don't hear, so pan, you don't hear, walk tired and start. Now, so, that's so the virus go weak in your system. Now, so I think I remember some people the way I be suspect, maybe they figure this thing, then I say, I suspect now, say, if you've been at the team because they yeah, are problem, then I say, I'm not getting no evidence, so I'm not really over talk about that. So, one of the complications for Epstein Barr virus, now, chronic fatigue. Chronic fatigue syndrome. I'm saying the tires. I just call your name so give you work. You just tire one time. We won't even start. We never even see the work safe. You just tire. Number two, if it cause splenic rupture, as I talked for the beginning, it can cause splenic rupture. Spleen, your yeah, spleen are organ. You they inside your, you they open your belly so your spleen for that corner, for the corner, and then your liver there for the other side. Liver and spleen, they usually. Uh, little usually cause complications uh, like hepatosplen omega the way they cause your spleen and your liver for be enlarged mega be bigger than the regular normal liver where God put up for you because you go kiss person where you're not supposed to kiss now you don't get the virus you don't go now for your liver and your spleen you don't cause your liver and your spleen will be big and then when the spleen not over big it don't be affected the spleen don't tire it will produce uh, white blood cell for fight the virus. Why don't fight? Why don't fight? fight? Why no day? It go rupture because it don't tire away for the spleen for fight the virus. No day. Probably because you yourself, you know, you need to take care of yourself. Say, you know, if you know, self, say you get out, or even if you know, say you get out, you need to care you. Just live your life. You get to be very conscious. Now, so spleen rupture. Your spleen go rupture. Where, eh? You know, when Bolo Bolo just know, so just boss. Yes, now so. And then, so then the Bolo Bolo, the boss. It just get, get different different particles. What if it cause some? This spinning rupture feel even happen. Even person just cough. <laughs> I see your cough. You know say so why you cough no? Try for cough. You de put pressure for your belly because the cough they come out from within. Thank you, thank you, Miss Mary. <laughs> thank you. So as you know, spinning rupture that can happen with minor trauma to the spleen. Minor trauma such as coughing, like just coughing <coughs> and putting pressure on your spleen will cause your spleen to rupture just because of the untreated Epstein Barr virus that has attacked your spleen. So, as I will talk for PG, if you just cough, your spleen rupture. If you sneeze, your spleen rupture. Or you, you are involved in contact, sp contact spots. That's why, even in the US, Anybody that has been diagnosed with Epstein Barr virus, the doctor will tell you if you're in contact sports or if you like to play with other people, you have to stay away. Because if you get in contact with somebody, contact sports like football, basketball, soccer, and name the rest, or wrestling, as soon as you come in contact with somebody, or even somebody throwing a ball at you and throwing it at the area where your spleen is located, that can cause your spleen to rupture. So the doctors will tell you, stay away from contact spots for at least until your spleen is healed. And then they'll do like an ultrasound to make sure your spleen is intact and there's no, um, no damage. So as I was saying in PG, unfortunately, I'm not a good French speaker, so I really cannot translate in French. But with time, we'll get somebody to translate in French. So as I was saying in PG, spleen rupture will occur even as coughing, sneezing, even just laughing really hard. Or in contact sport, people where they get, they play football, play basketball, play handball, they come in contact. Or even dodging, when they throw that dodging ball for you, you shoot your color belly, you are like, aye, your spin rupture. Now, I'll speak to the game for take you go straight because if he cut a berry and hang, if your spin rupture, if it cause you to die because bacteria, all things will mix together. You don't know which one be spleen, you don't know which one be liver, you don't know which one be intestine, you don't know which one be virus. Again, virus go outside. It's cause you to 
it can lead to death after that if your spleen ruptures and care if not care is not taken that's an emergency you have to go to the hospital as soon as you can in fact at that point if you're in the u.s you call 911 to get your ambulance to take you to the hospital because if you're wasting your time then you can get you can actually die from that situation and then another one is um and this splen splenic rupture, usually when your spleen ruptures, you have abdominal pain. That's like a classic sign, abdominal pain. So as a kid talk, when your spleen rupture, a classic sign of abdominal pain, it will hurt very badly, you know. Even for torn from bed, you want to change side, we no the things like that. That's very important for you to go to the hospital. The next thing, the next complication I already mentioned, which can also come as a sign or a symptom of mononucleosis. It's an actual complication because that's when it has gone to a very severe stage. So mononucleosis can cause complications that will cause neurological symptoms. As I was saying, encephalitis, which is inflammation of the brain. Your brain is involved. The virus has gone to your brain and it's affecting your brain. It causes encephalitis. Another, another one that, will, um, that is part of a neurological damage, you become psychotic. Psychotic, psychosis, it means you're probably like seeing stuff, hearing stuff or mm -hmm, things that are not present. You're in a different level, a different world of your own. That has, of course, it's because the virus has affected your brain and your, and caused all this um, altered mental status. And then another one is meningitis, of course, affects your brain and your spinal cord. And then it can also cause... Um, it can also cause the transverse myelitis, which is inflammation and infection and damage to your spinal cord on both sides. And when your spinal cord is damaged, that is your brain, as I said earlier, your brain, your spinal cord, or in my previous videos, your brain, your spinal cord, your heart, they work together. When all these things are damaged, when your spinal cord has all these issues, that's when you start having trouble walking, you start having your, you, can, you start having problems such as, um, incontinence yes incontinence so as i was saying in in pigeon i be talking about when this when this um, uh, another complication where if you get that from this kissing disease just from kissing somebody that you're not supposed to be kissing mm -hmm. you can have um neurological symptoms psychosis where it make you be like say you don't call you you never call not just the virus and then if you cause your brain forget inflammation, he cause your spinal cord for be damaged on both sides. And the way your spinal cord will be damaged for the left side, for the right, right side, you just be a, you know, if you stand, you know, if you, you get muscle weakness, you get numbness. Sometimes if you leave a shit and piece for your skin, you know, even know, no be witchcraft. If you've been at the kind of small to stand and so just from kissing somebody. And then now it just go affect your other vital organs and vital parts your vital systems so therefore be very care careful about it can cause bowel and bladder problems it can also cause it can also pre expose predispose you to autoimmune diseases like multiple sclerosis and systemic lupus or uh, systemic lupus yes so erythromatous erythromatous that name okay it can also cause that because guillain barre and EP, um, epstein bar virus are usually associated with people who have all these autoimmune diseases i'm not saying all of it i'm just saying part of some of the people who have guillain barre or epstein bar virus usually are at risk for S, um, systemic lupus and other autoimmune diseases so as a key talk, a key talk as people people they get this virus, they be easily, they feel easily get autoimmune disease. Autoimmune disease, now disease already the attack. When they say auto, auto, you yourself, the attack. It is, I had a talk. I say a house divided against itself can never stand. Like inside a house, no. When they fight each other, brother, they fight sister, sister. Now so autoimmune disease and they autoimmune disease. Now disease already attack your body. You say self, your body, they attack your body. Your cells are for fight against disease. But your cells are not the inside tone fight against each other. Like war inside house. 
brother and sister fight fight and so autoimmune disease day mm -hmm. and then it can also predispose you to some kind of cancer if untreated so as i said earlier all these viruses are usually you know connected to other diseases so we have to be really careful and then it can also cause cholecystitis which is your gallbladder involvement your gallbladder no gallbladder has some thing with it inside your belly it is a quick bile mm -hmm. it will protect you from some other thing there. if you get the disease the disease will go for your gallbladder go cause gallbladder inflammation and if your gallbladder the heart that's why you only feel pain for your right upper side you only feel pain you only feel let's say you want to throw up if you want to do this you don't want to throw up you vomit and sometimes if you they give a knife or end up now for move your gallbladder you see just from kissing somebody okay and if you also cause renal complication if you destroy your kidneys and when your kidneys will be get complications so if you end up for go get dialysis Dialysis will sometimes say you will get dialysis for the rest of your life. Why? Because you have to kiss somebody real quick. No, don't do it. And then another thing that will cause a hemophagocyte hemophagocytic lymphohistocytosis in children. That's hyperinflammation. I just big word. It will cause all that kind of thing. Then. So my brothers and sisters, Valentine's Day is coming. I have two things to tell you please do not kiss somebody who is not your partner and if you are not sure of that partner or if you have a partner that has another if you're doing you know you're in a community of exchanging partners please try not to kiss somebody at least try not to because you know usually you can you maybe you can use condom to but i don't know if there's something that you guys use in Cameroon to keep you from having this mouth to mouth contact direct saliva exchange so please do not do it and again please do not kiss any child yeah do not kiss anybody's child even if it's your child well if you kiss your piki your piki get that okay now you are here no no but mm -hmm. no kiss person in piki will not be your piki no kiss person in piki will not be your piki i've posted this before on my page and i'm saying it again do not kiss any child because the complications a a, a baby will probably not survive the effect of this virus on them because they are, syst they are still maturing their immune systems are not strong enough like yours so if you can go and kiss 1000 people that's your problem yeah, wahala. don't carry it and bring it to another child again if you have any questions any concerns or anything please let me know you can message me if you have any issues even if it's not related to mononucleosis or this thing that i just talked about you can always message me and ask me questions i can answer your questions to the best of my knowledge my ability my capability and my mm -hmm. but if i cannot answer your questions i will look for the answers for you or i will direct you redirect you to somebody who can answer your questions if you don't have any questions right now or any comments or concerns please continue to share the video thank you for sharing Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking time out of your time to sit here and listen to me talk. Again, as I'm kidding, talk. If you get questions and answers, if you need any advice or anything, ask me. I'll answer you to the best of the knowledge where I get a wifey answer. If you know fit, if I know if answer you, I will find the answer for you. If I know if find the answer, I will direct you for another person way and not say if you answer. Any disease, any sickness, any concern, no must be at the topic where I talk on the day. If you ask me questions from any any kind of disease, any kind of, if you have to exchange saliva, it's not okay. If your saliva is meeting another person's saliva, don't do it. So yes, so any questions you have, any concerns, feel free to text me, message me, call me, but don't call me at night because I might not answer. And here call me during the day but i like i prefer text messages facebook whatsapp regular text email i'll respond okay and in that way when i respond at least you have the answer to fall back to as a reference again my name thank you for coming thank you for sharing my name is fidelia nabi Quine nita and i am based in oklahoma and i am passionate about helping other people especially with their health that's one of the reasons why i became a nurse so do not hesitate to ask me questions do not hesitate to come to me for help please feel free to share the video and my name 
is that NP from Champ Facebook page, Mami Abi. Thank you.